Hello all, welcome to the next video from video series German for Beginners. In today's video, we'll be talking about vocabulary and uh, explanation about health and medical related topics in Germany. So just uh, uh, a snapshot of the intention. So the video series German for Beginners is intended to give you uh, 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 like a cheat sheet uh, of key vocabulary and words related to each uh, different topics uh, for your day-to-day -day life in Germany and also with the help of visual aids to explain different scenarios and what how each word means in different scenarios. All intended mainly for expats or beginners in, in German. Uh, so it is, it is normally difficult to learn these words uh, through the uh, traditional German courses and also how to connect them to real scenarios, especially in the way uh, if when it is sound or pronounced uh, incorrectly. So how to use them? Please use this video and note down the word and vocabulary and uh, whenever necessary feel free to pause the video and search for the words to find more related images and videos. Especially for the topic related to medical or health, it is necessary that you have a good understanding about the key vocabulary for each topic because in this topic normally uh, the practitioners or doctors they hesitate to explain to you in English due to compliance reasons so it is always uh, recommended that you have a good grip about these words well in advance before you encounter such a situation. So in this video we talk about different vocabulary from uh, different topics and the first topic is uh, sickness. So I'll explain the words in German, how it sounds, and also the, the meaning in English. Das Fieber in English means fever. Die Kopfschmerzen means headache. Das Nasenbluten means nosebleed. Der Husten means cough. Das Asthma means asthma. Die Krämpfe means cramps. The Übelkeit means nausea. The Windpocken means chickenpox. Das Niesen means sneeze. The Erkeltung means cold. The Grippe means flu. Der Husten means cough. Der Hautausschlag means rash. The Herzinfarkt means heart attack. The Allergie means allergy. Das exam means eczema. Der Duschfall means diarrhea. Der Blutdruck means blood pressure. Der Virus means virus. Die Migräne means migraine. Die Magenschmerzen means stomach ache. Sich erbrechen means to vomit. Der Schlaganfall means stroke. Die Zuckerkrankheit means diabetes. Die Infektion means infection. In Ohnmacht fallen means to faint. The next topic are the words which are which you normally encounter at the situation uh, of uh, as a, at a consultation at a practice or a clinic. Der Arzt means doctor. Das Rezept means prescription. The patientin means patient. Der Körper grossen Messer means height bar. The Krankenschwester means nurse. Der Termin means appointment. Das Sprechzimmer means surgery room. Der Warten, Warteraum or, or Wartenzimmer means waiting room. Die Impfung means vaccination. Die Untersuchung means medical examination. Das Thermometer means thermometer. Topic number three is the uh, explanation of different injuries. Die Verstauchung means sprain. Die Fracture means fracture. Der Schnitt means cut. Die Abschnuffung means abrasion. Die Prellen means bruise. Der Sonnenbrand means sunburn. Die Brandwunde means burn. Der Biss means bite. Der Unfall means accident. Die Blutung means hemorrhage. Die Körperverletzung 
means head injury. Dare not fall means emergency. De vergiftum means poisoning. De wound means wound. Dare elektrische schlag means electric shock. De gehirn erschütterung means concussion. Topic 4 is the common things that you find in a first aid kit. So especially at the time of an emergency, it's necessary that you know the name of these items. The salve means ointment. Das plaster means adhesive bandage. The bandage means bandage. The schmerz tablet means painkillers. The disinfection tube means antiseptic wipe. The pincette means tweezers. The shear means scissors. Thus, antisepticum means antiseptic. Topic number five is, is a different uh, departments that you will see at the hospital. So I will explain some of them because so most of them sound very similar to what, how it sounds in English. So I'm not repeating, but I for, for if, what, whatever sounds different from the English word, I will, I will explain here. The HNO aptilum means ENT. The cardiology means cardiology. Same applies for many uh, other words which are following because you just add the OG instead of OG in English and that, that will sound similar to the German word. So I will skip most of them because as you can see it, does, it sounds the same. The chirurgy means surgery. The Entbindungsstation means maternity. Uh, again, I will I'll skip most of them here because as you can read them, it, it is sounds the same. I'll restart from here. The Überweisung means referral. So especially when you're getting transferred from one practice to a hospital or or one practice to another, you usually get a document. So this is the document that you should be asking for. Das Ergebnis means the result. Der Fachast means specialist. So that is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you find it useful, please subscribe, share and comment for topics that you would like to learn in the future.